This is absolutely crazy. <laughs> what is even happening to my screen? Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour, or welcome back to kind of some Zero Hour. So uh, today we're actually going to play a, a crazy mod. It's called the Giant Robot Edition mod. <laughs> it's a little bit crazy, and I don't think it's something I'm going to be playing for a hell of a long time, but I'm, I'm going to show you at least my initial reaction to it. I've literally just booted it up to make sure it's working, and it seems working. It seems crazy, but for now I'm just going to show you how to install it. I'm going to show you a few of the screenshots. And then we're going to jump into an actual game. We're going to play it maybe against some AI. Maybe maybe we'll do a 2v1 or a 3v1 or something like that. So this is the this is the website and the link. I'm going to give you this in the um, in the description. So the first of all, on, on this link, you'll have these different things. You've got images, you've got videos, you've got files. Uh, so first of all, if you just want to check it out, you can look at the, the images and you can see all kind of crazy stuff going on here. I think that's actually, is that a video or not? No. So just show you like, some crazy units. Uh, I really don't really know what to expect very much in this mod in terms of actual gameplay and will it be any good i i think initially it's not it's just looking like a little bit of fun i don't think it's anything too serious so uh yeah shout out to the creator of this if we just press on summary actually uh wait or is it files uh somewhere it says the creator of it where is the guy uh, i don't know you've probably seen it on one of the screens whatever the <laughs> whatever the creator is called what's he called i can't actually remember but he did reply to me is it called precision something like that something like that anyway anyway you've got these uh, two files here i didn't know initially which one to download but i've gone with this one because it's the latest file all you do is click on this and press download you can see the file size oh no there's a the guy precision bomber that's the guy shout out to that guy um so yes, yeah, September 2020, I think this came out. We just press download here. Does it say the file size? Uh, oh wait, it's a tiny file. What the hell? It's really tiny. 26 megabytes. Anyway, you download that. Click here. In case it doesn't download, I'll just download it a little bit quicker. Then you can close that. It goes onto your uh, desktop. So you get this little file here. Or rather this one. Yeah, so you get this little file here. All you do then is right click it and um, extract here. I mean, I'm using WinRAR. If you've got WinZip or whatever, you can just press the um, press your extract here. Then you can delete that WinRAR file or the, the WinZip file. And then you've got these things. Uh, inside of this one, it shows you a change log and it can tell you everything that they've updated in like the latest patch. Seems a little bit crazy. There's a few known issues, like it's known to crash if the AI makes super weapons and stuff like that. Um, all you do then is you get these files and you... Well, actually for now, just keep them there. Then what you want to do is go into your install directory of where you've installed um, Zira. So for me, it's in the C local disk. Then I've got it in program files x86. All the x86 means is if you've got if you've got 64 bit, it will just install to uh, program files. But because uh, Zira is not a 64 bit game, as far as I understand, so it installs into the x86, which just means I think it means 32 bit. Don't quite understand the numbers exactly, but yeah, x86. So then you want to go into yeah, your install directory. So for me, it's in Origin Games. Now, what you'll find here is you'll find your one zero folder. Now, what I recommend is because you're going to be editing the files and stuff inside of there, I don't want you messing up your original game. So what I like to do is if you go to file, um, so if you just right click, go to new and go to folder, and just create a new folder. And then what you'll do is copy your entire zero folder into that new one. So you've got a, basically a duplicate version of it. This isn't going to mess things up, by the way. Then you want to add on the end of it, giant robot mod. This is a way to stop you messing up your files. And then what you want to do is cut that back and paste it here. So then you will have, um, you've got two folders. This is where you're going to mess around with the giant robot mod and you can delete it afterwards. And this is your original game. So if you still click your, your shortcut on your desktop, it's still going to work. And in here, you can delete this. If you mess it up, if you don't want to play it anymore, you just delete it, simple as that. So then you want to go into the giant robot mod folder. Then you want to go into actual zero hour and then all of them files that you've just got on your desktop you then want to um get them cut them and then paste them in here and you'll see they just paste it's really small as you saw they just paste in mine are already in so i'm not going to paste it now and a little pro tip for you if you've got your launcher in here and if you've got the control bar pro and any other things any other files or whatever just delete them all for now you're just going to play the mod without it because otherwise i think it does mess things up then when you want to boot up the game you just want to go to your general zxe so not you want on your desktop you're just going to click this one in here not any launcher or anything like that you're just going to simply click this general zxe so without further ado i've showed you how to install it let's get into the game and see how this is
So first of all, I noticed it were more zoomed out. We've got blackness going on around the edges. They've even changed the fonts here and stuff like that. Uh, we can actually see like some double, double ended paladin tanks firing lasers and all kind of crazy shit, I think. <laughs> so it's going to be a little bit crazy. I don't know quite why they've changed the fonts. Um, I don't quite understand why this is saying net play. Maybe they're, maybe the creators of this made it in a, maybe they, they speak a different language other than English and net play doesn't really make sense. It's, net, it's network play really, isn't it? Anyway, when you get inside of here, I noticed that they've even changed, um, like, I think the way this displays looks different as well. I think they've changed the font. You notice we've got armor general, artillery general, truck, Humvee, one super weapon per player. It's slightly different wording. They've even changed the names of all the maps. Like, it's not called Tournament Desert anymore. It's just called Desert. Like, things like that, I don't quite know why you would change that. Like, it's just, like, just a bit confusing. It's still the same map. You've not changed it. But then they've, like, that's called Bavarian. Where was that Final Crusade before? Was there really any need to change that? I don't think there was. <laughs> Not that the mod crew is even going to watch this video. I mean, he may do, but I just like, like that's called Bora Bora. <laughs> Why would you call that Bora Bora? I mean, let's play some Bora Bora. Maybe we'll do a... Uh, so now, yeah, it's not open and closed. We've got competent AI, smart AI, cheating AI. We're just going to go with two cheating AIs and we'll try a 1v2 maybe. It's not, <laughs> it's not team one and two anymore. It's team A and B. Uh, they can be artillery and the truck general. I mean, what the hell? What does it say about that? Uh, this general uses utilizes variable contents of long vehicles to surprise their enemies. This one is long range bombardment, and this one utilizes fire ported vehicles to make their combat tactics flexible. <laughs> like, why? Why change this? It's like all into like. Kids language, isn't it? it it's, uh, it's just weird, man. It's, it's just weird. Anyway, we're going to go. What one should we go with? Maybe we'll go with like... We'll just start with the armor general. We'll go here. The enemies can go here. We'll see if we can survive a one versus two. Fuck it. We don't know if we can survive or not. But yeah, trust me, things are going to look weird here. Like, Look at this way this, this is displayed here on the left, but the time is even broke. Uh, I noticed that the hotkeys... Let's build. But even... Can't these down. But yeah, I've got sound. So my headphones are really quiet. Look at the decimals. I mean, that's why sometimes inside of the game, a tunnel might get stopped on 100% because the decimals are still going. That's yeah. at least what that shows you. Sounds good. Made in the US I don't think any of the hotkeys work now. So they've changed like barracks to T for some reason. I'll build anywhere. I just don't get why you change like, absolutely everything. I get it's a mod and it's going to change the game. But why would you like change barracks that one's from done. B? And I can build yeah, Pathfinders now. Build right. Okay, let's do some sir. scanning. I'm excited to get some units and What's see what we can actually do. Yeah, I'm just not going to use hotkeys this game. I don't know if it's going to be like a really hard AI as well. It says cheating AI. I don't quite know what that means. Special forces here. <laughs> Has this guy changed? Yeah, Pretty it changed, boy, okay. <laughs> Alright, so first of all, yeah. we're just going to get some defences going. I think actually what would be useful... Oh, what foundation. can I build there? A Crusader turret. Upgrade complete. Look, this is my first time using any of this Made stuff. Let's get a Crusader US turret. I think once these have uh, captured this, I'll, I'll then drop them over this side and get that one as well. Country. Special forces here. I'm going to play out like a normal game. I'm not going to do some kind of hard rush. I don't know any of the units, so it might as well, like... I can't believe I can build Pathfinders without this strategy. Center. Well, sorry, without the General's promotion. Right, that's a Crusader turret, apparently. Low power. Low power. Let's get that. Alright, Tomahawk battery. Aegis base. Let's get an Aegis base. See what the fuck that is. <laughs> um, all right, let's pick these up. A couple more pathfinders here and there. Let's scan here. Aegis base. It's not a fire base. It's now an Aegis base. Okay. Can I still combat drop? Upgrade. Let's try to combat drop. Everything just displays weird, doesn't it? Lay in the foundation. Loud and clear. I forgot that. Right? 
Mm. Let's get a tomahawk battery. <laughs> I'm. I, I. I think I can guess what a tomahawk battery is going to be. Clocked in. Sounds good. Let's get our defenses going first. Loaded with U.S. quality. Um, is that going to survive that? Upgrade complete. Nope. I know my way around. All finished. Okay. So. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Mm, very cool. Another Tomahawk. Sorry, another Crusader. Let's get two Crusaders here. Another Firebase. Right, so we've captured those. Search and destroy. Heading out. Right Take a new position. Let's get to work. Lay in the foundation. Get in the work. Have a right job here. for me. Weird not using hotkeys, you know. Got Let's get the right factory up here. Okay, so we got we're against two, oh no, we're against one GLA and one kind of China. Any more projects? Yeah, moving. Let's build. Up. Right. What's the story? I feel like I just want to test everything properly. What that? I don't even know what that is. Yeah. Uh, let's just get an advanced crusader. I'll fire it. Anyway. Can I still laser? Okay. You bet. Unit lost. I'll fire it anyway. Just like a bullet. I can laser, but I don't have a hotkey for it anymore. Where was unit lost? Always ready. I want to blow something up. Sniper here. Like, even attack move doesn't work anymore. I don't, I don't understand why you would just change. Like, attack move was A. Was it really... I, I just don't understand what this Aegis thing does. Oh, does it... Is it an Aegis... Ah, I think the Aegis thing is a US... Uh, it stops the missiles, doesn't it? Um, Aegis... Like, their ships have it to stop, like... I get the goods. Provisions on route. I think that's right, isn't it? To stop, like, does it stop ballistic missiles or something like that? I think it does. Alright, so he's got some long range shit going on. Unit lost. We go to press B for the barracks, but it just doesn't work. <laughs> um, so, how can I stop? How can I make my own long range stuff? I need a battle lab for that. Have a job for me. Unit What's lost. The story? More Let's build. New construction. Where's the battle lab? Requires a battle lab. That's the battle lab. Good okay. area. Got my launcher right here. Always ready. USA armor division. Kind of crazy. On your command. Still making in. units. Getting to work. Am I still collecting from there? Right yeah. Here. Okay. Unit lost. And see if we can. Does this quad cannons move with? Come on in, rip it up. Unit lost. Looks like a good run. Sniper here. Identity. What even is that? Is that technical? Some kind of artillery technical. Well, all my base defenses are getting wrecked. Let's get a few more units. Yeah, we really are getting wrecked. The, the range... Yeah, the range on these guys is pretty insane. I thought I had a nice defense, but apparently I don't. Did my Crusader just got shot, like, instantly? Let's get A-10 here. See what that is. Bombard. They're just wrecking everything. As soon as the V comes out, they just... Okay, finally, they're taking it down. We have 12k, so I need to spend some cash. The thing is, when you can't use any hotkeys, I can't micro at all. I can't, I can't even double tap E, I don't think. Can I? I can't, I can't laser lock. Uh... <laughs> I know these quad cannons are coming in. I think it's going to get wrecked. Maybe we need to try just against one AI. I think uh, 
seconds too might have been a little bit too hard. So anyway, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll quit that one. We'll try one more game. Okay, so we'll take a different map. Maybe we'll just go on like front line or something like that we'll go as the hand v general this time we'll go against the cheating ai but we'll go against maybe we'll go against their armor general so i feel like i know them a little bit more so uh yeah <laughs> it's a bit weird isn't it they the the their units seem to have crazy range like as soon as the v came out it just instantly went down uh so hang on a minute hand v general okay is it just random if i if i'm super weapon or not or is that now? I don't know, man. It's very weird, isn't it? I don't know. Like, is that the sign for the Humvee General now, is it? <laughs> oh, it's all very strange. Let's get that. Did they even scan the opponent? Any more projects? Yeah. What's the story? What's the mission, sir? Loud and clear. Let's build. Alright, there's a few oils on this map, so there. Army's elite. I want to get that as well. And then... The oh, I haven't sir? even got my main. <laughs> Shows how much I'm concentrating. Upgrade complete. I'll get it there. Let's get a few. Oh, shining for this. Special forces here. Something for everyone. Need a delivery general? Oh, shining for this. Get his oil down here as well. It's just weird not being able to use any hotkeys, you know. New construction. So can I build EMP? Yeah, I can build EMP bunkers. I got the goods. Keep the supplies rolling. Upgrade complete. Keep the supplies rolling. On, Always prepared. Right here. Let's just keep an eye on him because if he starts attacking me some crazy stuff, I'm not going to know how to react. I'm playing kind of confident, aren't I? Just going for an eco boom. Meet your new owner. Need a point, man. Always prepared. I think if I. Uh, Fill all these things in the middle with missile defenders. That'll at least hold Always for now. Got my missile launcher right here. I think some kind of EMP work. defense over here would Get be good. Got my missile launcher right here. Have a job for me. I'll build anywhere. Good EMP area. bunker. See how good that is. Always <laughs> ready. The building is captured, captured sir. sir. Going up. Let's right, these are missile defenders tanks. then. Yeah, let's go on that building. I'll fire at anything. Is he collecting from there? Sometimes I don't even know if they're collecting or not. Ready for action. Secure and occupy. <laughs> okay, so we've got here. a few buildings. We're work. getting our EMPs Army up. Uh, is the AI doing anything? Yeah, he is. He's got this crusader thing. Yeah. I don't know what that shot was there. Let's pop some Let one, huh? All finished. Got my missile launcher right Yeah, I need build. this. Just doing a scan. Right yeah, um, is it going to replace Zero Hour? Right I don't think anytime soon. Is it pretty cool? I mean, is it better than a slap in the face? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, it's better than it's better than no video at all. <laughs> I can't even press V to evacuate. It's literally. What, why is he on fire as well, by the way? I'll fire at anything. Yeah, made in the U.S. of A. Always. Yeah, let's ready. just do some massive eco right Let's build. Made in the U.S. of A. How has he been disabled? That one's done. My rockets my fire EMPs. I want to blow something up. Yeah. Let's go on that build. Let's pop some tanks. I'll fire at anything. Here comes trouble. Let's go on that building. My rockets fire AMPs. Are you joking me? How is that balanced? How is the enemy supposed to do anything? Yeah. <laughs> uh, like if if I was going to invest loads of time into a mod, like no doubt this requires a lot of time. You got to build these models. You got to animate it. You gotta put the game files, you gotta learn how to edit, you gotta learn how to do mods in the first place. It takes a lot of time. Would you at least not make it half 
serious or think about it a little bit like how i mean unless the other units the other armies are just mega over op as well but like if your things fire in EMPs as standard <laughs> if the enemy's making anything other than a bunch of infantry and then can i just make flashbangs i've got pathfinders as well so emps will just get the tanks and then the pathfinders just get the infantry like just give it a little bit of thought like how is that balanced how is the enemy going to be able to do anything i mean maybe i'm wrong maybe we're going to get annihilated here in a second but i noticed at first glance it seems a bit weird let's get a war factory now and see some of these units but yeah look the ai can't do anything can that shoot up yeah it can actually it can fire up okay unit lost New construction. Yeah, all right, I want to get the tech tree going so we can actually see all kind of crazy units New now. Um, let's get another barracks here. I just want to seal off the mid so we can actually just... Yeah, and then we can just start, start experimenting with units and stuff like that. Have a job for me. Aegis. Right right Another EMP here. Okay, so we've got a Grenadier Humvee. Let's just build one of everything, I think. Maybe we'll build one at a time so we know what it is. Grenadier Humvee is going to be next. Oh, how OP is that? I can laser lock and EMP you at the same time with a $300 unit. How is that even remotely balanced? Let's pop some tanks. Got my missile launcher right here. That one always ready. Let's get another power going. Got my missile launcher. Right, so this is a grenadier V. Can I control fire something? So he fires grenades, okay. Can he take on this? I would imagine no. Unit lost. Doesn't do very much damage at all. Let's get uh search and destroy. Guess that's still good at Good to get advanced training. Story? Okay, a lockdown fortress. Uh, the Aegis defense. Let's try another Aegis defense. A lockdown fortress. Always ready. On the job. Locked in. Unit lost. Lockdown fortress. Let's get that. Bring on the scaffolding. Let's build. I can build a few of those Make actually. My own road. Hang on a minute. Enemy Why does it look so, so tiny? Bill Francis. <laughs> so it's just it's just the angle. <laughs> you just have to look at it from a different angle. Yeah, sounds good. Let's just get a couple of these lockdown fortresses so we can see what they do. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and it comes with a load of the EMP things as well. Crazy scenes, crazy scenes. Just get a load of them. Right, so the Grenadier thing was a bit shit. Let's try the Advanced V. Well, they are breaking through the mid a bit now. Maybe we're going to have to retreat to this line. Let's pop some tanks. Got my missile launcher the window. here. We can fire through the window. That one's done. Come on in. Okay, so if we got a load of those. And if we get an ambulance and what? Do you advance these? Let's try those out first. But how, how is that advanced fortress or whatever it is? Lockdown fortress, even fair. What's this? Requires a super weapon. Some kind of patriot. Let's get this. Let's get a few particles. Look at the range on that. Right, now we can put these things to the test. Right. Can I select this? Yeah, I can use it. Use control groups? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, let's go over here, see if we can defend. Man, this beast is getting wrecked. 
I've got search and destroy as well. Unit lost. I mean, as long as your things get to shoot their AMPs. You have been promoted. Yeah, that's an Avenger. Get an ambulance. I wonder if a sentry drone is any any use now. Let's just get everything now. I'll fire at anything. Right, that got stopped. But we did build it. It's called an EMP Captain missile now. Story. Any more projects? Hey, it's called an EMP missile. Can't Let's just get a few this, of those actually. Construction made in the US of A. Couple more doses. Right, so we're building one of everything. Let's get Colonel Burton as well. Get flashbangs as well, see if that does anything. Spectre, leaflet, power drop, we'll see if any of that is any different. Spectre. Yeah, power drop coming in, get a leaflet coming in, do Unit a drone. Lost. And I've got the, the icon of a nuke. Okay. Spectre coming in. Doesn't seem any different. Seems completely normal actually. Is the skin a little bit different or something? Not quite sure. Here comes a power drop. Unit lost. Rangers obviously fire differently. Might get run over by this dose now. Just get shut down straight away. Leaflet comes in. It's pretty much the same. I'll fire it. Alright, Avenger. Looks a little bit different, but also yeah, quite the same. Uh, not even sure what that is. It's a Thunderbolt. Flash what the hell is a Thunderbolt doing? Uh, a Humvee armed with a microwave. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> of course. Our Let's Colonel Burton has been detected. Unit lost. Let's see how strong Colonel Burton is. Let's pop some tanks. Deadly efficient. He's pretty no powerful. This looks like something on Microsoft Paint though, doesn't it? Right on. So when I'm low power, these Medical fortress things, they're low power right. too. I don't even know what that is. Colonel Burton detected. What you Unit lost. It's getting back. This is going to get wrecked by this. So we've got EMP Humvees, basically, that's what it is. <laughs> it's not overpowered at all, is it? So the damage output of that is pretty crazy, actually. Right, let's not kill him yet, because we want to fire these particle EMP nukes, whatever they are. Let's build. Bring on um, the and then there was something else I want to build. This Patriot yeah, thing. Let's build. <laughs> Sounds good. Keep Let's build this Patriot thing here. What the Made fuck is that? Man? What the hell is that? Maybe that's why it's called Giant oh, Robot Mod. <laughs> okay, we got a double ender. Yeah. Just now. Unit lost. It says giant robot mod, but yeah, I think until we build this, we're not going to necessarily see giant robots. Yeah, we need to like protect this. Where's that? I don't even know what that is now. What the hell have we just built now? Whatever that is, I want another one. <laughs> what is it? It's a battle fortress. Assault transport can be garrisoned by eight soldiers. Let's get a load of those. Okay, we get a load of these. Right, one Nuclear of my nukes. One of my nuke Got EMP my missiles, missiles is ready to fire. Right, okay, so let's scan the base. Got my missile launcher right here. Let's find a decent target. That seems like Nuclear to be one. If it's the launch. EMP, right would it kill the air units as well? Okay, that's a pretty... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do one on his base. Right, moment of truth. Let's see this EMP slash nuke slash missile Patriot. Okay, seems so pretty epic. I like the um, the thing there across the map, the flashing lights and all that kind of crazy stuff. <laughs> okay, and let's build our massive Patriot spider thing. Can I build multiple of those? I can actually, yeah. I wonder if this can walk. I, I have a feeling it's going to be able to walk in there. Okay, so it's going to build... 98 giant spider things. Let's see. Uh, okay, we've got all these battle fortresses going on now as well. 
Let's pop some tanks. Right, so yeah. we've got it. EMP battle fortresses, EMPVs. We can fire nuke EMPs, and we're building five giant ready. spiders. We've got another EMP thing to fire now. We'll probably say we'll save that until these uh, until these giant spiders detected. are coming in. Enemy cannot burn detected. We can build another giant Unit spider lost. actually. Uh, okay. It's ready to move. <laughs> yeah, we got our giant spider ready to move. Wow. Okay, so fire EMPs, these yellow things. And, like, it sounds like an inferno. I wonder what happens if I nuke it with one of my EMP things. Can I move these battle fortresses as well? No, I can't. So basically, the pinnacle is that, isn't it? That's why the mod is called this giant spider thing. Is there anything else I haven't built? I haven't built an air force, have I? Does the drop zone look the same? Let's have a look at a drop zone. Let's build. Uh, where is it? I lost it. That's a drop zone. Yeah, we need to build an airfield and try the air units. That's the only thing we haven't tried now. Got to wait for these spiders to finish. What's the story? Loud and clear. I'm gonna build an air force. Okay, so that's an airfield now. It's completely changed. All right, so we've got four, uh, three spiders so far. About to be four. What does this thing do? It's fire rocket pods. It's the right thing to do. Oh wow. Nuclear missile. Is this the strongest army? Is there a threat? Unit that lost. Polished and ready. Keep it clean. Yeah. We can take care of it. Polished and ready. Uh, Want to see a fireball? How do they? How do they stand fire any fire chance fire. against On this? Keep it clean. You can depend on it. That one's done. Doing what's right. Yes. Paladin tank in the field. <laughs> Nuclear missile launched. That Unit one. lost. This is absolutely crazy. <laughs> what is even happening to my screen? Four new key MP missile Patriot things. Or whatever it is. And then we've got five giant spiders. <laughs> we've got these battle fortresses. We've got EMP missile defenders. And I think uh, the enemy is about to be defeated. And they're all auto firing, by the way. They're literally... It's like aggressive mode on... Uh, CNC3 where they just like they're firing as I'm moving and killing everything. Which is yeah, rare to see in there, Zero. So where is the AI now? Moving. Sure thing. You bet. Moving. Here comes trouble. Letting her go. Just like the 4th of July. I wonder if Oh, no, we haven't built the Air Force yet. I wonder if I rocket pod my own stuff. Just want to see how much damage that does. I can actually EMP myself. If he shoots at him. So if you both... Yeah, it's not doing very much damage. It, it is killing him, slowly. But those fights could go on for a while, couldn't it? Cheating AI has been defeated. Oh, I didn't even build the Air Force now. Oh, I didn't build the Aurora. <laughs> I didn't build the Aurora. Okay then guys, I've just jumped back in um, and just gonna, uh, literally I'm in sandbox mode, I haven't, uh, I'm not playing against anyone. I've just really figured out that I've built a Comanche and you can actually put the rocket guys inside of it. So now you've got a flying Comanche that can fire like a normal Comanche, but it's also got eight slots and you're firing missile defenders with EMPs. Like, what even is that noise? Air cover's on the way. <laughs> Visibility clear. <laughs> oh shit, I don't want to kill that power plant. Man, what was that noise that I just... <laughs> 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 okay, so that's like... It's like a flying helix. Oh! This is what I've built. I've built a Cerno. I don't know if this is like some anime thing. It looks like some anime thing. What the hell is this? 
What the hell is that? Okay, let's try out. <laughs> let's try out this Aurora. Uh, that's way too distracting, man. That, that amount of stuff there. Right, let's try an Aurora. Um, we're just gonna hit this army here. See what happens. All right, so Aurora's still own everything. Uh, we also had a, a, a Raptor, a built of vanilla Raptor, and that's got some guys in it as well. But I had to put them inside of it. So yeah, they can fire out of it as well. That's absolutely crazy. And then the the stealth fire doesn't seem that good actually. I'm just gonna fire here on the like the V or something. What the hell does this Cerno thing do? Yeah, stealth fire is obviously good against defense against units and whatever, but I'm not gonna test it against defense. Uh, so yeah, this Cerno. Oh my god, what the hell is that? So it's like a massive EMP thing. I can definitely see some imbalances. Oh my god. Okay, so she's like freezing everything. <laughs> she's freezing everything. Unit lost. I just have a feeling like this game would just be all about everything on the battlefield would just be disabled all the time and it'd just be like these massive spiders. But I think this Cerno would just end the game. I mean, it costs 10k to build. But look, she could just... As long as you keep firing at everything, you could just fly in and annihilate everything. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that? Can I even use them Aurora's whilst... She just wrecks everything. She just single-handedly wrecks everything. Can she shoot each other though? Um, no, I don't think they can shoot each other. So they could just be flying around. It could just be a base raid situation if they can't shoot each other. I know. Yeah, they are getting hurt. Oh, I have no idea. What an absolutely mental mod. Anyway, let me know if you want to see more of this in the future. Maybe you want to see me play against a real player or something. But for now, it's just a little bit of fun. I don't think I'm going to play again for the next week or so. But yeah, GG, well played. Let me know your thought in the comments. See you in the next one.